This video is going to talk about how to multiply a fraction times a whole number. Remember that when you see a multiplication time, you can think of that as saying of. So really what this problem says isn't just three times one-fifth, it actually says three of one-fifth. So if we have these three things and we break them up into one-fifth sections each, which means we're going to shade in one-fifth here, one-fifth here, and one-fifth here, we have three parts of one-fifth each. What that's going to end up being is three-fifths, but I'm going to show you how to reach this answer mathematically because sometimes drawing the pictures is really going to become a little bit more of a pain than it, than it would be helpful to use. So, when we have three times one-fifth, one-fifth is already in a fraction form, so we don't need to worry about that but we also need to put 3 into a fraction form. Remember that to get any whole number into a fraction, you're going to put it over the number 1. So what that means is that if it takes one part to make a whole, you have three of them. So you have three holes, just like this 3 says. So now, I'm going to multiply across. I'm going to multiply the numerators together, I'm going to multiply the denominators together. 3 times 1 is 3, 1 times 5 is 5. There's my 3 fifth answer. It's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at 3 fourths of 6. So if I have 3 fourths of 6, that means I have 6 groups total, and I want 3 fourths of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into fourth sections. So I'm going to break this up into quarters, and I want three quarters of each. So I want this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. But instead of having to shade things and count one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourth, four-fourth, one-fourth, that's going to take too long. So we're going to solve this mathematically. Three-fourths is already in a fraction but I also need to get this 6 into a fraction. So to get any whole number into a fraction, you're going to put it over 1. So now I have 3 over 4 times 6 over 1. Now, I'm going to show you something two different ways here, so I want you to just hang tight and bear with me on both ways. The actual way to just straight out do this is just to multiply across. So I have 3 times 6 is 18, and then I have 4 times 1 is 4, and then I have 18 over 4, I can simplify that, divide by 2 over 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 9 over 2, I have to make the L and divide there, so here's the L, and then I have 9 over 2, because the 9 is on top and that's a bigger number, 2 goes into 9 4 times, so my final answer is going to be 4 and 1 half, that's one way to do it. What you can also do, before I multiply, what I can do is I can take a look at these numbers down here. And I can see that both 6 and 4, actually I'm going to rewrite this just a little bit, both 6 and 4 are even numbers. They can both be divided by 2. So rather than multiply this all together and then have to divide by 2 later, I'm going to divide by 2 now. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So I've just simplified inside my problem before I did anything else. Now I have 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 1 is 2. And I'm left with 9 halves, just like I was before, so I know that 9 halves is going to be 4 and 1 half. If you choose to take this way, you have to be very careful that you are paying attention to what you're dividing by and that whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. I don't care if these numbers are on top of each other or they're di diagonal from each other, but you can't take something that is on the same level. You have to take from the top and the bottom evenly. If you don't understand this and or you don't want to do it and you choose to do it this way instead, or maybe you miss something that you can simplify by, you can absolutely simplify later on too. Maybe you're going to take a little bit here and simplify also. 
either way is okay. We're going to look at two different ways here, so I don't want you to panic about one or the other. We're going to get a lot of practice in with that. Our last problem is one-fifth times nine. One-fifth, we're not going to draw a picture for this one, one-fifth is already a fraction. Then we have to get that nine into a whole number. One, nine becomes nine over one. I have one-fifth times nine over one. One times nine, do I have room? Yes, is nine. Five times one is five. Make the L and divide. Nine on the inside, five on the outside. Five goes into nine one time. One times five is five. Leaves me with four. So I'm left with one and four fifths. Now the question that you're going to be answering is going to be five times two sevenths. 